Hi everyone, uh, my name is Kate and this is my first video like this so please be kind. Today I wanted to talk about tattoos. Um, the tattoo that I have, just the one. Tattoos that I like, styles I like, tattoos I want to get, artists that I like, whatever I can think of essentially. So this is my tattoo, um, like freshly done. Um, this mm -hmm. is it actually four months later. I've got a bit of sunburn here, which is a bad idea if you have tattoos, don't do that. Um, so as you can see, the colours have come up really nicely. I do sort of want to get it touched up around here, but overall very happy with it. I got that done by Courtney at Ligon Street Tattoo. She's lovely. She's a vegan tattooer. She has lots of animals and plants. This took three sessions. Uh, each was about four to six hours. Um, part of that was just because I was a bit of a baby with the pain. It was my first tattoo, give me a break. I decided to go big straight off because it's what I wanted to get. I sort of feel like with tattoos you go big or you go home. Um, I love colour tattoos. I would only ever get colourful tattoos. I don't really, for me, I think it's, you know, why get a black and grey tattoo when you could get a colour one. So the next tattoo I want to get, I do actually have a plan. I want to get one here. I'm in Colombia at the moment on exchange and I want to get one here. I want to get a little shell. I just thought it was really pretty. I also think it's a nice way of representing my time here in a way that's not overly obvious. It's not a, a poncho or sombrero. Um, I found an artist that I want to get who does work like this and I have actually sent some messages. I kind of want to get it done. He thinks it'll cost around 500 mil pesos, which is equivalent to 250 Australian dollars. So that's probably like 200 US dollars. You can figure out the rest. Maybe around 15 centimeters and on the side of my ribs. Yeah. Um, for me, with my tattoos, I do have a problem. I want to be a physiotherapist one day, that's what I'm studying for at the moment, and physiotherapy and health degrees in general are not the most liberal, pretty conservative, and if I walk into job interviews with tattoos on my arms, I'm not going to get jobs. And so for that reason, all the tattoos that I'm planning and I'm getting at the moment are on my torso, easily covered by work clothes, you know, even this one, it's a little bit tricky, but I'm not going to be wearing singlets to work. Um, so it does still work. Um, I'd really love to get a cat skull, like here, like between my shoulder blades. The reason for that is that my family and I have had three cats. We had one cat who was amazing and gorgeous, his name was Charlie, and he got run over when he was four years old, maybe younger, which was really sad and uh, really hard for us as a family, and we immediately got two more cats, so we filled the void, I suppose. Um, we got a brother and sister, me and Albie, and that was about uh, four, five years ago. And we have recently had to give Albie away because they were having some major aggressive problems, fighting, drawing blood, screaming, running around the house. It was just a really horrible time. So we found a better house, a better place for Albie. He's now living in a share house with a bunch of 30 year olds and having the time of his life, apparently. Um, but I kind of want this cat skull just to kind of represent the sadness of both of them. And Mia has been a lot happier and snugglier since he moved on. So that's been a really nice happy ending. And I think it would just be a nice uh, tattoo to memorize that plus skulls, anatomy, botany, nature in general is, I find it amazing and I think all of my tattoos are going to be that theme. Some of my favourite artists, okay, who do I love? My dream tattoo is from Feral Catbox. Um, she's in Chicago. She's amazing, absolutely amazing, um, but she is highly in demand. She doesn't do many works. Her whole system is that she has projects she wants to do when you apply for them. Her Instagram is really amazing because she has some health issues. She, you know, she really does struggle with tattooing, like the stamina of it, and it's really amazing to have that insight into what she goes through with that. So I definitely recommend her Instagram. <gasps> oh yeah, what's his name? Hold on. I forgot his name, I'll, I'll just... <laughs> Matt Curzon, um, he is in Melbourne, 
Kaluuya. He does awesome work. I honestly didn't think that I would like him. I'm not usually a fan of like the super neo-traditional um, works like that. But I'm going to these sleeves. I would love a sleeve of his. Oh, tattoo story time. When my mum found out about my tattoo. So my parents are conservative ish in the sense that they are okay with me getting I had a nose ring they were okay with it they're okay with me being bisexual ish and they're okay with tattoos ish in the sense that they absolutely acknowledge that it's my life my life to live and they lead me to it but it makes them uncomfortable so I made my tattoo appointment I went had it all done I told mum that I was going into the city to study and came back, you know, six hours later, um, and I told my brother about it. My brother's three years younger than me. So I got my tattoo done, and then you have this glad wrap, like, covering on it for straight afterwards, and you keep that on for a couple of hours, and I need to get it changed. And the problem is that it's here. I need help. I can't do it on my own, and I plan to get my brother to do it for me um, because he didn't care at all that I had a tattoo. But... Then he had gastro, and I didn't want some germy kid touching my tattoo with his gastro little fingers. Um, and my dad was not, he was away, he was interstate, so there was only one person in the house that could help me, and that was my mum. And I said to her, Mum, <laughs> I didn't go to the city to study today. I went to a tattoo parlour, and I got a tattoo. And she went, no, 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 no. And she was jumping around the house yelling, no, not my daughter. What have you done? And she said, no, I don't want to see it. I'm not touching it. I'm not looking at it. This isn't happening. Get your brother to do it. <laughs> so after all that, I had to get my brother to help me anyway. Um, and she refuses to see it, but I'm going to bring her around. I'm going to work on her. She'll be okay. She just needs six months <laughs> until summer to get comfortable with the idea but that was very entertaining and like I said it's not it's not that she is a horrible person who um wants to control my body that's the whole thing she's never tried to control what I do to it she's just sad because it's permanent and I do know that and I just hope that she comes to understand it in terms of my favorite like tattooed people I've been watching some Kira Rose on YouTube. Um, I really love how colourful her tattoos are, the theme of her tattoos, and that they're so cute and old-fashioned. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I would love comments, reviews, advice, tips. As I said, this is my first. Please be kind. Please be supportive. Thank you for your time. Have a lovely day. Subscribe if you feel like it. And you may or may not see me again. We'll see if this sticks or not. Bye. <laughs>